You're welcome to TMG. Thank you. It's not that those opposing us are very powerful, but the truth is, in every promotion, there is always battles. For every promotion goes with battles. So when you are praying for breakthrough, you are praying for the big life, you are praying for successful life. When God changes you to that level, you must face battles. That is how it is in life. Whenever God promotes you, it's always troubles. So when you are promoted and you are faced with the little challenges, so what I'm saying in a nutshell, whenever promotion comes, it comes with troubles. It's a spiritual law. It's a law. A woman is married and there are no children and she's praying for the child and eventually she got pregnant and she carries the pregnancy for nine months. For that child to come out, it's trouble. Very serious. In short, it's a life and death trouble. Not to only the child, to the mother. It's a law. It's a spiritual law. Let me start with myself. When I was growing new in ministry, I would go to the mountain to fast. But the truth is, when I go to the mountain, I fast. And I come back, everything will scatter. If I lay hands on somewhere, it does not fall. I will not start to pick up again. Like two weeks, I know. Those close to me know. But some people felt as I just come back, the anointing. Yes, the anointing is very high. But no power at all. At times it takes like two weeks. I would then pick up. I would start afresh. And I knew they've changed me. They've promoted me. I knew. But the power is like a child. I have to learn how to grow, how to crawl, how to walk, to start up again. At times it takes up to a month to pick up. It's a spiritual law. So when you are promoted, there are a lot of you here now. It's like things became slow. Yes, even for me too. Things became very slow. Very terribly slow. It's a time to put your faith to work. Not time to complain. God, you complain, you destroy it. If you are willing, you destroy it. It's a time to put your faith to work. It's like you are living in a room at Palo. You now move to a three-bedroom flat. There will be a lot of troubles in that new house. A lot of troubles. It's a new house now. Even if the money is everywhere to furnish the house, it's troubles. You have to put everything in place. You have to do, you have to do. You will not sleep. Three straight days, you have not slept. You are trying to put the house in order. But it's a promotion. But it has its own troubles. That is how life is. It's a spiritual law. I told you that for you to grow spiritually, it's good you know there are laws. And you must learn these laws and know them. You buy a new car. There are troubles though. That's why when you buy a new car, you don't drive it anyhow. Let me just mash it to the end. You are supposed to drive it gently. Because it's new. You ought to get used to it. So when you are smart and you find yourself with a new car, you... Be careful. Don't drive anyhow. Just say, let me just go to Benin and fire. No. You feel sleep set at daybreak with a new car. It's a promotion, but it has its own troubles. Fools experience life themselves. Wise people are smarter. They learn from other people's experiences because they are wise. They are smart. So when you are promoted and there are a lot of troubles, you pray. It's like a woman. She just got married. Yes, you got married. There are troubles, so you have been promoted now. There are troubles. It's time to pray, it's not time to complain. The Bible said, Men ought to pray and not to faint. My message is titled Blessings in Times of Troubles. The blessings are inside the trouble, they are in it. Have you been to an ocean before? See. If you get to the seaside, it's trouble, very troublesome. You will even be afraid, you cannot enter it. But you want to keep fish, you enter. If you know about this river, Rhine stuff, if you are here, you see that the fishermen must face the trouble and enter the sea. As they face the trouble, as they enter, everyone will come. But if you are afraid, I don't know, this, this thing can just capsize the boat and you will remain there. When promotion comes, you are expected to put your faith to work. Men always ought to pray and not to faint. You must learn to pray and not to faint. Fainting means giving up. Have you ever wondered if a woman wants to put to bed, it's so painful. Why is it like that? So that she can care for the child. Because if the child starts pooping and crying, you for the see mothers throw away their children everywhere. So when you remember the pains you went through and the stress of that nine months, no matter how mad the child is, Still your child. Hence, God brings the troubles most times at the beginning to make you wiser, to make you wiser, and to also make you serious. 
Lastly, to also know if you really love him or if you really know who you are. Right? You, this is your share and you went out before you came to have stolen the share. Naturally, you'll be angry. But if you kept complaining and complaining and complaining and complaining, it's an offense. It's a crime. Devils will hold you because the devil is the accuser of the brethren. If you have faith, you leave it for God. Okay, it's my share, but they stole it. No problem. I want to leave it for God. No problem. It's painful. Yes, well. But you kept complaining. You are not referring to God. I will fasted. I will succeed. I always go to church. Why would something like this happen to me? You are a fool. You are committing an offense now. It's foolishness. Complaining is an offense. And there are some persons, they like complaining a lot. And to complain is the opposite side of faith. Men of faith don't complain. Men ought to pray and not to faint. You pray. You are expected to pray. You are expected to keep praying more. Daniel started a request. And he made a request with the Lord in prayers. And God answered the prayer. But the thing did not work. But he knew God has answered the prayers. But it didn't work. Daniel kept praying, kept praying, kept praying. If not that he kept praying, he wouldn't have known that the prayer has been answered and the request has been given. He wouldn't have known. Asia Gabriel had to come after like 18 to 21 days time to meet and say that prayer you prayed last three weeks. God has answered it all, but Prince of Persia stopped me from giving it to you. That is why uh, it has not come. But now, Michael and Jemike came to fight. So we are destroying the devils. Take your blessings. Had deep been in our withdrew, that, ah, it's like God refused to give me the, he would have missed it. So you keep pushing on. Blessings in times of trouble. When the real blessings come, they come with troubles. At times, for you to be a billionaire, you might even be broke. It's a law. It's a spiritual law. Be praying. I've been praying. I've been praying. And the things are not working. <laughs> At times, it's not devil that made it not to work. It's God. <laughs> Thank you. It's not the devil, so devil not get like a power. At times, God's hands are in it. Because if it should just work like that, wisdom misbehave. The level has changed now. You need wisdom to control it. The wisdom is much more important than the level that has changed. You need understanding. It matters a lot. And the only thing that can give you wisdom and understanding is hard times. Hard times makes us to be wise. If things are hard, you will not think well because you will not know the people around you. It's okay, okay. Because I asked him to give me money to buy fuel. That is why he's not respecting me anymore. Eh? You see? Oh, I told you that I don't have money. That is why he does not respect me. Now you don't know her. So now say B. So now my money they respect since. I see. <laughs> eh? You don't know her. Now when money comes, you can't avoid them. If they run, follow you again. I bros, bros, bros. You smile. Uh, go wait me for that side. Go with me. They give us a sense. God leads us through it most times so that we can have sense. Not that he's trying to punish us. So that we can have sense. Because all that glinters are not gold. And there are a lot of things and people glintering around us. There are some friends around you. They are just friends with you because of your car. Because they won't go anywhere. They'll just talk to you. Have fun, huh? Come on, go down. They, they happen no. For some more, just go. You now, since not today, you just enter the car, let's go. Boom, 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 boom. Because you to get sense. So it's using you. Now, one day, come and say, let's go to the city car, spoil. And Fisan, I know Fisan, I'm money, Fisan. I found I'm going to go your car, use your car. It don't bullshit you, it don't find another person's car they use. One day, go see you for road, you just destroy you. See, ah, that guy, it is not a robber now. <laughs> it is so far now, you see, ah. he's going to laugh, go see, go see. He going to look you as if he never even know you. You're not say, so, oh, you see? And most of the friends you have are fair weather, fair weather friends. So when God promotes you, he wants you to have sense. It does not start with full force. It will start slow. On Monday, I, like I said, I will answer the Lord. Why is it slow? He said, yes, that is how I designed it. It must be slow. It will be slow. Gradually, it will be growing. It will be growing. That time you go to the get sense. Before you look, before you look, they just see you with a new car. Ah, that's how you do it. It's not God, though. 
Safana, what would you see now? I said, we're not getting anywhere we want to see. You must be smart, oh. See, life is not for fools. It's not a bed of roses. God does not invest in failure. If God knows you will fail, he will never invest in you. God does not invest in failures. You might be a child, you might just be 18 years old, but you have sense. God will invest on you. God does not go into investment that will fail. So you will see that it's growing. I know most of you, it has started picking up, right? It, has started, it might be slow, but it has started picking up. It's better. When it will gather momentum, you'll fear. <laughs> But from now to Friday, you are in money. Plenty money. Plenty money. The grace God has given us is active. We don't have a sleeping Jesus. Keep pushing on. Don't give up. Push on. Push on. Don't complain. Just push on. Don't talk. Push on. Who they so Gary get plan? Don't give up at all. <laughs>